After 114 days suspended, more than half her parliamentary career, Darlene Tana has effectively been booted from the Greens. So how did it all go down and what happens next? The Greens became aware of allegations against Tana on February 1st when she informed the party about a complaint laid against her husband's bicycle company with the Employment Relations Authority. The allegations accused them both of being involved in migrant exploitation. On February 9th, the Greens discovered a second complaint had been laid with the ERA. By mid-March, the allegations reached the public and Tana was suspended from the party while an investigation got underway. On Friday, July 5th, the Greens received a report on the findings. Party MPs met over that weekend and decided Tana should resign. The report found Tana was effectively a co-founder of Bikes and Beyond, and while her day-to-day -day operational involvement reduced in mid-2018, she continued to assist and support the business for the following three years. Tana has been firm in saying she doesn't accept the report's findings. She claims it misrepresents her level of involvement and says she's taking time to consider things before making further comment. A leaked page of the report, meanwhile, highlights difficulties and calls the investigation complicated. Green co-leader Chloe Swarbrick says she wants to contact people mentioned in the report before it's made publicly available. It's not clear whether the party has an estimated timeline of this. As for Tana, she can continue as an independent MP for now or resign from Parliament altogether. The Greens can also invoke the so-called Waka jumping legislation. Thanks for watching this New Zealand Herald Focus video. To stay up to date, click the subscribe button below or check out some of our other videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more news worth knowing.